Hello everyone and welcome to the Sacred Pathways. If this is your first time checking this channel out, we're blessed to have you here. My name is Terry and I narrate the stories of near-death experiences, past life memory, also known as pre-birth experience to mysterious spiritual encounters all around the world. In the hopes of bringing inspirations and understanding of spiritual life beyond this. Our videos offers a glimpse of what lies beyond. And it offers a gift of knowledge to knowing there is more than just this life and we live on spiritually. If you enjoy these videos please consider clicking the like, subscribe and bell icon to be notified of new content. Doing so is free and it does help the channel grow. We are very appreciative of all your support. If you would like to reach out and share your experience. We welcome the pleasure to do so. You may email us at thesacredpathways at gmail.com or on our Facebook page. To my return viewers relax, get cozy and enjoy today's narration. We're blessed to have you all here. Today narration is about a man named Jim, whom was taken to a dark place, until he screamed out for God and something miraculous happened. He spoke to Jesus and told him to share what he experienced to his people. When Jim Woodford died, he spent 11 hours in heaven. When he came back, he was changed forever. A successful airline pilot and businessman, Jim had it all, a loving family, substantial wealth, and all of the good things that come with it. But none of this was enough to satisfy the emptiness he felt in his heart. Jim Woodford had no interest in God until he experienced God's miraculous power in our modern world. He was on life support when he received a major wake-up call. All the things that I thought were just some crazy, old legend. It's real. It's a dimension that exists. Something far beyond anything I could have ever imagined was happening to me, says Jim. An ambitious, self-made man. Jim earned the nickname, Diamond Jim. He was focused on providing a life of luxury for his family. According to his wife Lorraine, nothing was too big of a problem. He could fix it. Jim says, I thought that that was my way of showing her how much I loved her, and cared for our family, was by providing everything that I could. But Lorraine, a Christian, prayed for something more. Specifically, she prayed, God please change his heart. Bring him to know Jesus and just make a change in him and deal with this materialistic way. Over the years, the money and materialism had started to consume Jim, as he pulled away from his family. Jim shares, I'd wake up in the middle of the night and I would say to myself, is this all there is? At 61 years old, Jim was diagnosed with Guillain-Barr syndrome, a rare, incurable disease, resulting in chronic pain. As Jim explains, it was unremitting, electrical current pain in every part of my body, accompanied with paralyzing inability to move. For the next five years, Jim relied on prescription meds to manage the pain. Lorraine says, he was just getting to be a very angry person. The pain was just consuming him. Jim says, never once, and this speaks to the arrogance. Did I reach inside or look up to the sky and say, God, if you exist, help me out here. Not me, not Diamond Jim. In April 2014, Lorraine said a desperate prayer for Jim's heart. She shares, I said, God, I've been praying, but I haven't seen any change. Maybe you just have to break him to remake him. But be careful what you pray for. Later that month, after taking more than four times his dosage, Jim went to inspect a field he was planning to sell. He says while sitting in his truck he felt a growing burning sensation in his legs. Listen as Jim tells the horrific things he saw. I see my body slope over the wheel, I'm over the truck, I can look down in the bed of the truck, Sid, and see my toolbox. 
And then I saw something like a dim light at the bottom, like a light of fire, red fire. And suddenly I heard the strangest sound, like two massive iron doors opening and screeching on hinges that had not been used in a long time. And suddenly emerging from those doors was the most hideous creature you could ever imagine. I see this thing coming out and suddenly I'm assailed by this horrific smell that comes out of that pit, an odor of death and decay and of things long dead. And when its fiery eyes looked at me, it started to make its way up the wall of that pit. But its body, Sid, was formed of like a rolling mass of dark cloud with a face on it. And I heard the most horrific things, something screaming within the body of this creature. And then what absolutely horrified me was I heard my name, my name being called. This creature knew me and it was coming for me. And I was terrified and it reared up out of that pit over me and the most hideous face imaginable, massive in its size, snarled at me. And there was this feeling, an anticipation of glee that it couldn't wait to get its claws on me. I turned from the darkness toward the light. When I did, I sensed this creature, its breath on the back of my neck, the stench of its breath, and I felt a sharp claw move down my back. At that point, I had no reason to expect any help from God. I turned myself toward that mist with that creature breathing up my back, and I lifted both hands and I cried out, God, help me, help me. Instantly, three stars appeared in that mist, like distant points of light, but coming rapidly toward me. I focused on them to keep my mind off what was snarling behind me. I concentrated on those lights. They came so rapidly. I was afraid they were gonna to make too fast a landing, <laughs> but they did a beautiful job. They took form, they were angels. As they approached me, this beautiful light flooded over me, went beyond me and struck that creature. And when the light of the angel struck the creature, it scrambled back down in that hole like a rat running for cover. God had heard the cry of someone that had never turned to him in his life. When Jim didn't come home, Lorraine called the police. He was found in his truck, unresponsive, and was rushed to the hospital. Lorraine rallied friends and family to pray. She remembers, the head doctor came out, and he said, your husband is severely brain damaged. There's there's no brain activity there. And he said, we have him on full life support because uh, his organs have all shut down. He said, there is no way to bring him back, dot. Lorraine continues, I was apologizing for, for praying, what I prayed, but I didn't know it would come to this. There was something else she didn't know. Since the attack, Jim had been experiencing a very different reality. Jim explains, I look to the right and there's this incredible vista of beautiful flowers and meadows. And I turned my vision to the left and that that beautiful green grass went from green to brown to scorched to black and dropped off in a crevasse. I saw the most hideous creature you could ever imagine. And I fell back in and in abject terror. The look of hatred in its eyes for me and all of mankind. But at this point, I turned toward the light and I raised both hands this time, and I cried out, God, help me. Help me. Then, Jim says three angels came and took him through heaven. He says, I realized I was looking at none other than Jesus, the Son of the Father. And he looked at me with those violet eyes, and all I heard was, James, what did you do with the life my master gave you? I had no answer, but as I looked into his eyes and he smiled at me. He smiled at me. He knew me. I saw such intense love and forgiveness for me, for me who deserved nothing. And that was the moment, I was his forever. Whatever was about to become of me, I was his. I loved him and he loved me. Jim says he wanted to stay, but Jesus had other plans for him. Jim says Jesus told him, go back and tell your brothers and sisters of the wonders we have shown you. Suddenly I'm in a cold hospital room on a gurney, screaming at the top of my lungs. Scared the daylights out of some of the nurses. 
Lorraine remembers, a nurse came out and said, Mrs. Woodford, can you come here with me? And I thought, he's gone. Jim says, and I'm just overwhelmed that I'm seeing Lorraine again. I said, Lorraine, I saw Jesus, and Jesus has horses. Lorraine explains, the more I could talk to him and know that he was sane, I knew God had restored him. Lorraine realized God had also answered her prayer to break Jim to remake him. She says, What did you think of Jim's story? Lorraine is a wonderful and loving wife. She prayed for her husband and her prayers were answered but in ways she could have never imagined. What an amazing journey, thank you for sharing. If you like Jim's story, please click the like, subscribe and bell icon, to be notified of new content. It's free and it does help the channel grow, and we welcome you to share your story with us. You may reach us at thesacredpathways at gmail.com or on our Facebook page also at The Sacred Pathways, just click the link located on our channel. Thank you for joining us today and have a blessed day from The Sacred Pathways family.